Hello, my name is Georgine. Today we are going to look at energy. We are going to look at energy in, that is the energy we get from foods and drinks, and energy out, that's what the body uses to function and be active. We are also going to look at the concept of energy balance and how it can affect our body weight. So, what is energy? Well, we can't see it, but energy is all around us. It is the ability to do work or to produce heat or light. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can be changed from one form to another. See how the electrical energy in the toaster is changed into heat and light energy. The source of energy for humans is food and drink. The energy is provided by the nutrients, carbohydrate, protein and fat, as well as alcohol. Energy provided by food is measured in kilojoules although sometimes we may have seen it as calories on food packaging. Eating a slice of pizza can provide the body with 887 kilojoules or 212 calories. Different foods and drinks provide different amounts of energy depending on how much carbohydrate, protein and fat they contain. One gram of carbohydrate provides 16 kilojoules. One gram of protein provides 17 kilojoules and one gram of fat provides 37 kilojoules. So why do we need to eat food? Well, a very good reason is that the energy provided is transformed into the energy in our body, which keeps us alive, allows us to grow, be active and keep warm. Without energy, my body wouldn't work, my lungs wouldn't breathe, and my heart wouldn't beat. Earlier on, I spoke to Sarah, a nutrition scientist, and asked her how much energy we need. The amount of energy people need varies widely. It depends on lots of different factors, such as their size, their weight, and their activity levels. Experts have estimated the amount of energy and nutrients people need, and these are known as dietary reference values, or DRVs. For energy, estimated average requirements have been calculated for men and women of different ages and different activity levels. But what if all the energy we consumed just came from fat? Food is a mixture of different nutrients. It's unlikely that anyone would get all their energy from fat. But if they did, that wouldn't be healthy. We need to get the balance right between how much each nutrient contributes to overall energy intake. It's recommended that at least 50% of our energy should come from carbohydrate, no more than 35% of energy from fat, and that leaves 10 to 15% from protein. Look at these people. As you can see, they are different sizes, so they have different energy needs. In general, energy requirements depend on whether they are male or female, height and weight, the climate, and how active they are. There are certain times during life when energy needs change. For instance, pregnant and breastfeeding women need more energy for the growing baby and to produce breast milk. As people get older, they do not generally require as much energy. One of the reasons for this is because they might be less active. Different activities use up different amounts of energy. When we are sitting, we use up less energy than when we are standing. Here are some examples of activities which use up different amounts of energy. I asked Sarah about how much physical activity we need to use up the energy of a chocolate bar. Well, it would depend on what you're doing. If you're watching television, it could take three to four hours. If you were walking, it would maybe take about an hour. And if you went for a run, you'd have used up that energy in half an hour. What is energy balance? When the amount of energy we take in from food and drinks meets our body's needs, we are said to be in energy balance. This means energy in equals energy out. If we are in energy balance, we will have enough energy for growth and activity without gaining weight. But if we consume more foods and drinks than what we need, the extra energy will be stored as fat and we gain weight. I also asked Sarah what the factors are which affect energy out. There are many factors affecting energy output. These include whether you're a boy or a girl, your body size, how active you are at school, how active you are at home, and how much regular exercise you do. Thanks, Sarah. 
As we said before, how much we eat and drink and how active we are can affect our weight. When our energy in matches our energy out, we are set to be in energy balance and our weight will remain the same. However, if energy in is more than energy out, we are in positive energy balance and over time will be more likely to become overweight or obese. Being overweight and obese increases the risk of many diseases such as heart disease, some types of cancer and type 2 diabetes. When we take in too much energy from food or when we are not very active, we don't use up much energy and this too can contribute to weight gain. Watching television, playing some computer games or sitting about for long periods of time does not use up much energy. So we should try to include activities each day that use up more energy. Most people in the UK are not active enough. It is recommended that children and young adults should be active for at least 60 minutes each day. This can be as simple as taking a brisk walk to increase the heart and breathing rate. Activities that improve bone health, muscle strength and flexibility should also be included twice a week. Examples of this are running, playing netball, and skateboarding. Adults also need to be more physically active, aiming for at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week. When we take in too little energy from food, we are in negative energy balance. Over time, we will start to use up fat stores and lose weight. It is not healthy to lose too much weight. People who are very underweight often experience health problems including hair loss, dry patchy skin and a weakened immune system which make them more prone to illnesses. It is important to maintain a healthy weight. There are problems associated with being overweight and underweight. Try to achieve energy balance and maintain a healthy weight by enjoying a healthy varied diet and being active every day. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, check out the British Nutrition Foundation website nutrition.org.uk or foodaffectoflife.org.uk. Bye for now.